All right, so today is Thursday, February 20th, 11.23, and we are at the New York State Police Department in Batavia, New York, and this is Troop A headquarters, and we're just here to file a complaint with um, Officer Priscilla, badge number 2261. Ray Vision back at it again. Gonna do a First Amendment audit. Let's go see what they're all about. No, that's babe, that's employees only. Can't you read? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm here to file a complaint against uh, one of your troopers. Hey, what's his name? Uh, Pashido, badge 2261. I'd like to see if you have forms. You called here earlier then? Uh, would I not like to disclose that? What's that again? I would not like to disclose that. Do you have any ID on you? I don't think I needed this. Give you my ID. Excuse me? Why do I have to give you my ID is my question. Because you're in a police station right now and I'm asking you for it because you want to talk to somebody. And there's no crime I've committed. Why do I need to present okay. you with my ID? Hold tight. Okay, off the rip. Trooper dickhead here wants to say some shit. Um, I was, why did he answer for an ID? Because he wants to know who I am and do some. He doesn't, he doesn't need it. They're already failing at this First Amendment audit. <laughs> really? Oh, he's on the wall, too. Okay. I wonder what he did to get on the wall. So he must be off officer dickhead of the month. <laughs> Would you look at that? I guess while we're at it, we're just going to, I guess, see what they have. Buckle up. This is a conference room of some open. sort. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Where, where? We said the supervisor is going to be out in, in a minute. That is awesome because this they're quiet here. Just tell me some other. Yeah, stuff. everything's all set. So, supervisor's on his way up. Okay. okay. What's your name and badge number? What's that? What's your name and badge number? Huh? Do you do you have a name and badge number? Of who? You. I don't need to disclose that to you. Yes, you do. You are you are a government official, right. and that's policy actually. Okay, you can talk to the supervisor. All right, we'll be up in a minute. He's getting mad. Real mad. He doesn't want to disclose himself, and he's a government official. That's pretty stupid. He looks like he's a off. He's a trooper. He's something. Yeah. So meet an encounter. 
Tell me who you are. So they have to tell us who they are, but we don't have to tell them who they are. give them any information whatsoever. Unless we have committed a crime, there is no information being given out to any police officer. And I don't intend on committing any crimes or any violations while I'm here. Nor do you, so we are good. He's over there looking real mad right now. Super there. Hi. How you doing, sir? Come on, Bad. What's going on? Uh, what's your name and badge number before we start off? I'm Matt Wachowski, 5277. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'd just like to get some forms to file a complaint. Forms? Yes. So you can talk to me about making a complaint, but there's no form that you fill out. There usually is a form. Usually? When have you been here before? This is forms everywhere. What, what? No forms everywhere? Okay. Well, if you want to make a complaint, you talk to me back in my office. Okay, so how does that process happen? So I talk to you, and what's the chain of command to, I guess, well, remedy the issue? Command, you talk to me. That's the process. That doesn't seem like it's really going to. That doesn't seem like it's really going to help me out or help anything. It just seems like you're going to talk to me, and then that's that. You're just going to. Yeah, you talk to me and we, we figure out what the complaint is and then we deal with it. That That's the process. You don't want to do that? I would just like to have a form like you guys should have or you usually do have. Is there one online? A form online? Yes, um, to file a complaint. Yeah. Like, you yeah, know. and then they would tell you to talk to me. Okay, I guess let's talk. Do you, have a, do you have a complaint as well? I'm just with him. Okay. You can, you, you have a complaint? I have a complaint. We're okay. both you, in this situation, I guess. She's, she's third party, so she could be okay. here. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to her separately. Why? Because I'll talk to you now. I'm, I, I'm one person. I'll talk to one person. That does not make no sense whatsoever. Okay. That That's what we're... You, you can wait. I'll talk to you after I'm done talking to him. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine, but... Just record and make sure they don't harass you or something. You do have to turn off the recording. You're coming to the secure facility and you need to turn that off before you come back here. Because mm. that's not a public area, is it? Right. Okay, can we do that out here then in, in the conference room? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'd like to make a complaint against Officer Pacello. Uh, he said 2261 is his badge number. And there's another officer, but he's not from this department. He's he's, he's a sheriff, so I'm pretty sure they don't have jurisdiction or anything over him as well. Um, I got pulled over by Pacello on... Uh, <coughs> anyways, he pulled us over for an inadequate muffler, apparently. Our muffler was too loud. Okay. I don't. There's no in, in, indication our, our muffler is louder than it should be. He okay. said that um, it just got inspected and that I don't, he doesn't know how it, how it passes. And I'm like, I'm a New York State inspector. There's no, not, nothing in the New York State inspection handbook that says there needs to be a muffler in place. The catalytic converter, this has to be there though. Mm -hmm. I told him about that and then he started asking where we're going. He started asking, um, I guess, why we're going to court because I told him we're going to court. And I told him I don't have to disclose that. Then he wants to basically pull us out of the car, pull her out of the car, and claim that he smells marijuana now. He okay. doesn't he doesn't say anything about marijuana or the smell of marijuana until I stop telling him information that he wants to know. So okay. based on that, he wants to just assert his his right or his not his right, but his pride or his 
his, I guess, his badge or his authority over us, and he wants us to just humiliate us for no imperial reason. He tried to violate my Fourth Amendment right. He tried to illegally search our car. He just, okay, we're it's not a search going. and seizure. I mean, all day, like that's, that's okay. Something that, but he didn't find anything at all, right? Okay. He didn't find no marijuana, no nothing. He touched our, he searched our whole car. He didn't find shit. He just wasted our time, and he told us even on camera that he was just trying to find something. I asked him, "You're just trying to find something, sir. Why? Why are you fishing?" He said, "Yeah, I hope I find something too." My but officer, if he smells marijuana, he, he would he, be looking there, for something. There, so yes, he would want to find something. There was no okay. I'm, I, you're trying to back him up. That's cool. He, there was no smelling smell marijuana. There was nothing there. I'm just telling and you what the law he is. tried to identify me without without me committing a crime. There's no reason for him to identify me. He tried to say because I'm a passenger and he identifies everybody in the car. That's policy. Right. That, that, yes. That's policy. That. that is what you guys do for your safety, perhaps. But policy does not trump my rights at all. He so, tried to identify you? Yes. He, he asked he, to identify you? Yes. He actually pulled my wallet out of my pocket and literally identified me that way. That's part of the search. No, it's not. He is not actually allowed to go in, in my pockets. I have not committed a crime. What, what do you... Everything inside the car, he, right? It was a hunch. Everything inside the car. I, I, I'm, I'm outside the car now. Why, why, why is he even trying to search me? And then he's trying to get my information from the get-go. That's why he I even he's started. Trying to search you because he smelled marijuana, which is what you that's, told me. That's why, no. <laughs> I, that's what you said. I'm going by what you told me. But he only said that because he wanted to identify me in the first place and find out if I had a warrant, if I had this, or just... Just keep us there for no really. He's just trying to humiliate us and use his badge as power. I would like to really file a complaint against him. And I don't know why there's no paperwork here for me to do so. That, this is not how it usually is. It's not proper at all. I mean, I can I'm, take a deposition I'm from you in my office if you want to do that. A deposition? What does that mean? That you're just stating what happened. That, that's the paperwork that you would file. You just said there was no form. There's no paperwork. Right, there's no form. You're, there's not a form that I'm going to give you that you just write on. I would take a deposition from you in my office. That's that's what you can do. A deposition as in you're going to be writing stuff down, or is it like I will recording? Type it out. I will type, type it out, you will read it, and then you will sign it if you want to file that. How does that even work? So it's all that's done exactly electronically. That's exactly how it works. I just told you. So it's all done electronically. Can I do it myself online? Because this usually is a form to file. Right, if you go online. It's going to go through the chain of command. It's going to come down to me, and I'm going to interview you, just like I am now. That's how that works. All That's exactly how it works. I just told you. I just told you. I would rather type out the deposition myself, just to make sure I'm. I'm you will get to read it. It's my it, words. It's, yeah, you get to read it and sign it. It will be in your words. I don't know how that works. I can't record back there. It's you're a secure facility now. There. You won't be able to record. Yeah, exactly. And I can't go back there. You're trying to make me go back there and type up this and that, and I just don't get it. This is not how it there, We don't have any computers goes. out here or anything. Why isn't there forms? I'm Okay, I would look at your website and your policy and rule books because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have forms for the you're public. You're pretty sure. I am pretty sure. It's like that in every... In every whatever, whatever. <laughs> Okay, Every, um, I, I told you what the process is. is. If you want to do it, you can. If, if you don't, you don't have to. You have that option. Okay, can I get a business card just in case? One. Thank you very much. I just don't see how that works. Gonna do. And he also like violated our Eighth Amendment right. He literally, that was, he, he humiliated us in public like we were criminals. It's literally severe punishment for that crime. And there was no crime even being committed in the first place. Like, what the fuck? And it all started because I was recording. And I didn't want to give my information up. Look at the restrooms in there, baby. Yeah. There is one right here. I can record real quick. The empty chair. Short crashes. 
Oh yeah, and I also want to talk about where he pulled us over because he definitely pulled us over outside his jurisdiction, it seems like. I'm gonna ask him that. Okay, baby. She's in the my, my contact information. Anytime you're gonna make a formal complaint, contact me. And we'll okay, one. I have a couple more questions. Um, where does your jurisdiction take take place? Like, where does your your county line start? Like, which well, the, you know where the county lines are, right? For the most part, hi highlighted in, in the maps. But I'm talking about like exit wise, because he's he's saying he, he pulled us over in the town of Bergen. We had we had just passed exit. Three like un underneath the bridge. There was, there was a sign that said, "Well, we, we have jurisdiction in New York State, right? New York State Police. Okay. We patrol Genesee County. But as far as jurisdiction, if you're concerned about that, yes, we can go anywhere in New York State and okay. affect arrests. Okay, just making sure he had jurisdiction where he pulled me over at, because it did not seem like he had a car or Genesee Sheriff. It's like he did, he did a citizen's arrest and then called a what was a citizen? Basically, he was. It felt like he was detaining us to call another person, another sh trooper there, or another, I guess, sheriff that had jurisdiction in, in that area. That's what it seemed like he was doing at the time. But I'm okay. guessing you're, I guess, going against that and telling me that's different, which could be. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting. I really thank you for your right. time. You and, yeah. All right, like I said. Anytime, if you want to make a formal complaint, you can talk to me. Just okay. tell me, like, give me my contact information. Go ahead and do that. I'm so available. Sergeant Matthew, right? okay, I appreciate you for taking the time and trying to talk to me. Take there care. Go. This and that, you should go back to work, guys. We're paying you guys good money. Very good money.